Hi guys, this is Steven. I'm back again with another tutorial. Uh, this one's uh, requested by a friend of mine, Ray, who needs some help with uh, mapping some images uh, onto already laid out UVs. Uh, so let's get started. What we have here is a, a model of a football helmet. And what we need to do is get images onto the side of the football helmets, um, either a you know, mascot or a logo. And we have a stripe running down the middle. And what I did here is I laid out UVs um, for both sides of the helmet and for the stripe. And the problem is when we lay out UVs in a spherical uh, pattern, uh, what happens was happens is at the poles uh, there will be lots of de uh, deformation. So what I did okay to show you what I'm going to what I did here with the uh, with the UVs, we're going to go to Window, um, Rendering Editors, Hypershade. We're going to open up our Hypershade. <clears throat> and look through here, we're going to go Helmet White. Double click on that. Let's pull this over. Where it says Color, we're going to go to the checker box here. Click on that. Opens up our Render Node. Create Render Node. And we're going to click on Checker. It puts a checker box into the color, and you can see how the checker boxes are boxes. Um, if the UVs were laid out incorrectly, they'd be elongated, uh, stretched out, uh, even split or, or, or in a, a twirly-like pattern. Um, as you can see here, as we get up close towards the poles, you get a little deformation. So that's why one of the reasons why I made the stripe a separate. A UV setup. So let's get out of here. I double click on helmet white. Actually, click on that. And there's in the middle of the uh, hypershade, there's three little arrows pointing to the right hand side. Uh, click on whatever shader you want, and click on the left hand arrow, and that brings it down to the work area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the, the checker number two and the place 2D texture and delete them, and that'll make the helmet white shader. Um, back to a def default gray, and we're going to leave it like that. And I'll show you in a minute. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do the same to the blue checker. Add a checker, and you'll see how the blue is laid out. Now, this is a little UVs aren't quite right there, but that's okay because we're just having stripes go the lengthwise uh, of the helmet rather than going across, where that would be a problem, but seeing as how it's going lengthwise, there, there won't be that much of a problem. Okay, so let's go back to Hypershade, click on Helmet Blue, click on that, go to the little arrow f uh, facing the right hand side, on the left hand side, and we'll delete those, and we'll just turn this back to blue. And click on the color, down to blue, hit Accept, and there we go. So now we're back to where we were, and <clears throat> now let's take a look at our UVs. And the reason why I left the helmet gray is I'm going to go to Windows, about halfway down UV Texture Editor, opens up our um, UV Texture Editor, and we'll zoom out. If you don't see anything, uh, what you want to do is uh, click on um, your model, your mesh, go up to View, Whoop. go up to View. Uh, at the very bottom it says frame all, click on that and it'll zoom out to where um, your UV mesh is. So now what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go to UV, and that should allow us to select any of our UV points. And we're going to select every single one. We're going to hit R on our keyboard to scale, and we're going to scale the UVs down. And we're going to zoom in, hit W to translate, in, zoom in a little bit more, and we're going to scale it down. Now, what we want to do is we want to get it so that the uh, UV meshes fit in this 1 to 0 range, only up in the uh, um, upper right hand corner. And so let's see here, we're going to select this UV set, one half the helmet, bring it in this half of the UV, bring it in. The uh, thing is you want to um, 
especially if the both both halves of the helmet, you want to uh, resize them uniformly at the same time because you don't want, it, want one side to be bigger than the other or longer than the other or whatever. Okay, so we got that fit in there, and we're going to go to the stripe. W, translate the stripe, so bring it over here, and we're going to shrink the stripe down. And just like the helmets, we don't want to shrink, so it fits widthwise into the uh, 1 to 0 UV range, but it doesn't fit lengthwise. So we don't want to scale it down lengthwise because that'll screw up our UV, uh, UV mapping. So we want to uniformly scale it down so it fits in there. All right, and the reason why I changed the uh, the helmet to gray is when I click on the helmet, you'll notice that there's a gray um, color in the background. If I had it white, you wouldn't be able to see the the white UV meshing because because the white UV meshing is white, and you wouldn't be able to see it on a, on a white background. Um, okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the UV mesh and we're going to do a UV snapshot. So you want to go to polygons, and at the very very bottom it's UV snapshot. And I'll click on that. And first we're going to go to Browse, and click on Desktop to put this to my desktop, and we're going to save it as Helmet UV 1, because I've already got a Helmet UV up there. Hit Save, and it's not saved yet, it just brings you back to the uh, UV Snapshot um, uh, folder. Now for size X and Y, you want to keep them uh, the same, because you want the UVs to be sent out in a perfectly um, square page um, or a square file and Maya likes the numbers best um, if they're multiples of two so it kind of corresponds with uh, the like um, bytes of memory uh, for your computer so it goes two four six uh, two four eight sixteen thirty two sixty four uh, one twenty eight two six two fifty six um, Five, I think it's 256, 528, 1024, and 2048. So I'm sure a lot of you people know it, know those numbers by now. Uh, so I left it at 2048 um, pixels square, and that'll give us a nice large image to uh, to work with. So we're going to save this under a TIFF file, and we're going to hit OK. Oh, I forgot one thing. You've got to make sure you have your all your UVs selected. Uh, before you save this. So once you got your UV selected, then hit OK, and it'll close down, it'll create a file on your desktop. Okay, so let's shut this down, and we'll go right into Photoshop. Go to File, Open, and we're going to look for Helmet UV1 TIFF. Double click that to open it. And here we got our UV mesh, and see the notice the black background and the white mesh. Now what we're going to do is just going to invert it. So we go to Image, Adjustments, almost down to the bottom is Invert. And it's going to switch the white to black and the black to white. So now we're what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer. Okay, and we're going to use the transparencies or the alpha of, um, of the Photoshop file. So what I mean is by transparency, and while one's, layer one is selected, Okay, now, as you can see, um, layer one now is opaque. And if I draw any image on this, uh, you'll see the when we apply it to our helmet, you'll see the image, plus you'll see the orange. <coughs> now, if you just want to see the image, you cannot have a fill or any type of background on your layer. So let's. I mean, so we have that there. Select inverse. Let's try this again. Select inverse, delete. And now you'll see what I mean by there's a transparency there. You can see the background image and you can see the foreground image. Okay. So what I'm going to do, well, actually, I've already made uh, my logo to save some time here, which is just a, a Saturn. So that's what the football team will be is the. Um,